we're driving around Fate Island in Vanuatu to show you the best spots to drop into on your holiday. Go. We made a spontaneous decision that morning to drive around the island, so our first stop for the day was to get some breakfast. This is how the locals do it. We're here at La Parisienne, the boulangerie. Uh, locals come here, this is some of the best bread and pastries they have in Port Vila. So if you want to come down, try it out. This is where the locals flock to every day. Uh, they get their daily bread, they get their pastries. We picked up some supplies for the day, including a couple of batards which is about half the size of a baguette and absolutely delicious. This is the best bread in Port Vila. Definitely have to come down and check out La Parisienne Boulangerie. With our rations sorted, we set off from Port Vila heading eastward. As we headed around the island, my buddy Chris decided that he wanted to stop for a photo shoot with the car next to a coconut plantation. And as we didn't really have any plans for the day, we just pulled over to the side of the road. With the shoot over, we continued onwards, heading towards the first location on the drive and one of my recommendations of top spots around Afate. I was stopping in at the Banana Bay Beach Club here to grab a coffee, look at some really nice views. Located about 30 minutes drive east out of Port Vila, the Banana Bay Beach Club is a small resort and cafe located on absolute waterfront. Team, you gotta check out this view here. It is just amazing. Look at that beautiful ocean, sound of the waves, definitely worth checking out if you're coming around the island. The cafe is fully equipped and also functions as a bar and they have a pretty reasonable menu so you'll be able to find something to stop in for. There's plenty of seating options inside and out, both covered and non-covered, so regardless of the weather, it's pretty good. Today was quite windy on the east side of the island as you can tell from the foam on my coffee, but we didn't let that ruin our fun. A little bit windy today but the coffee's good, they use local tanner beans roasted on a fate, so you just know the coffee's going to be great. We finished our drinks overlooking the ocean and then jumped back in the car, planning to head just a bit further up the road to our second major stop for the day. The road changes from driving past plantations to overlooking the ocean, and Chris decided that he wanted to go down and have a look at one of the beaches that we were driving past. It's worth saying that here in Vanuatu, every bit of land is owned by someone, and definitely around Afate, there's no public beaches. Most will probably have a fee that you have to pay to the landowners to use. After the quick pit stop, we were back in the car, and shortly after, arrived at our second destination of the day. At our next stop in on our epic road trip, Around Afate is the world famous Vanuatu Blue Lagoon. Alright, let's go in, check it out guys. The Blue Lagoon is a favourite of both locals and tourists on Afate, and it's a must see if you're stopping here. At the time of recording, entry was 1,500 Vatu, which is equal to about 20 Australian dollars. But, you can stay as long as you like, and they do have facilities like covered tables, bathrooms, and a little kiosk. The water here really is crystal clear, amazingly blue, and it was pretty hot when we came, so sitting in it was refreshing. While it is a pretty good place to relax, I think it's pretty safe to say that everyone's favourite part of the Blue Lagoon is the rope swing. It's worth noting that the water here is fresh water, so just be careful if there's been a bit of rain around when you're there, because the water will be absolutely freezing. After we finished cooling off, it was back on the road, heading from the eastern side of Afate up to the north. Given how windy it was at the beach we stopped at earlier, we decided not to try Eton Beach, another tourist favourite. Personally, I don't think we missed out at all, because there are other beaches around the island that are much better and are cheaper to get into as well. When you come to places like Vanuatu, it can be easy to forget that this is actually where people work and live, so make sure that you're respectful of that when you're travelling through. As you continue around the island, the terrain changes again, becoming dense jungle, and you start crossing bridges over streams and rivers. The next place we stopped we happened to just be driving past and decided why not give it a go, as I'd heard good things about it during my time in Vanuatu, so we turned in and headed to Lair Life Resort. Oh, we just tucked into Lair Life Resort, uh, we're just driving around, we saw it on the side of the road so we're going to Check it out, see what's happening, see what it's all about. 
first opening in 2013 as Lemur, the life is a family-owned and run eco-friendly resort spread over acres of land, overlooking the blue ocean and the Shepherd Islands at the front and set against a green rainforest background. The resort works closely with the local community and helps improve local life through joint projects such as enhancing infrastructure, health, education, and they also employ local staff. We just had a quick stop here for a couple of drinks and to take in the atmosphere. So that was the life resort. The life. Uh, not too bad. If you're heading around the island, it's definitely worth checking in. But if you've got a tight itinerary, then it isn't necessarily a must do. Back on the road, we headed towards the next location we'd planned to stop in at. On the way there, we drove past where we started our adventure hiking up a dormant volcano on Nunar Island which I also made a video about. I'll link it down in the description and at the end of the video. Shortly after, we arrived at the next stop, a place called Top Rock. Turning off the main road, you drive through Sama Village until you arrive at a small reception area with some signage. Next stop on the trip is up at Top Rock. Uh, and the point look at here. This is probably one of the best snorkeling spots in all of Afate, so if you're going around the island, definitely stop in. Entry into Top Rock is 1,000 baht per person, which is around 13 Australian. It's split into two main areas, the bottom of the cliffs where you're at the ocean and can snorkel, and the lookout at the top. We started with the lookout to catch the views. The lookout has a little restaurant owned and run by one of the local villagers, and has a small menu of items you can purchase while you're there. But the real draw card is being able to look out over the ocean to the outer islands of Afate. A little bit windy again, but you can see some of the reefs down here at Top Rock. Uh, they make it one of the best snorkeling spots, I think, on the whole island, so definitely worth heading up here. And the friendly locals here are definitely going to keep you company as well, hey? Hey, boy. We sat for a minute, then headed down the cliffs to go snorkeling. There are some fairly narrow and steep stairs to traverse, so if you're not so mobile, then maybe heading down here might not be for you. All right, let's go snorkeling. We unfortunately came at low tide, which makes it a bit harder to get into the water and limits the snorkeling a bit due to the way the reef has grown, but we still jumped in to see what we could find. So that was snorkeling at Top Rock. Uh, as you can see from some of the footage we got there, I think it's definitely worth coming up here and your visit to Port Vila. And over here on Nuna Islands where we hiked up to in the previous video. So go and head on over to that one. I'll link it down in the description at the end of the video as well. And that was Top Rock. All right, let's continue on with the road trip. It was getting later in the day, but we'd planned to stop into one more place before we headed back to Port Vila. So we got back in the car, had an afternoon snack, and got on our way. The western side of the island is definitely more built up than the east, and driving back you pass plenty of villages and landscaped areas compared to the free-growing jungles and plantations on the other side. The last recommendation I have for the day is M Resort and Spa at Mangalilu Village. Turning off the highway again, you head down a winding road until you make it to the village. You'll turn down a dirt road, but don't worry, you're heading in the right direction. Eventually, you'll see the sign and you're there at the resort. Alright, we're stopping in now at M Resort and Spa. Uh, first opened in 
uh, March 2024 in Port Vila. It's a really great little place, a uh, little resort to come to because they partnered really well with the local village, Mangalilu. Uh, they employ a whole bunch of staff. Uh, I believe all their staff are from Mangalilu uh, and they definitely support the village, support the people of Vanuatu. With a short walk through a little tropical rainforest, you come to the On The Rocks restaurant where I've always been very welcome to come and hang out, do some snorkeling and enjoy the scenery. The restaurant and bar are fully equipped. They have a menu tailored to local produce and the atmosphere and views are just breathtaking. We only really had enough time for a quick drink stop in, so I grabbed a cappuccino and Chris got himself a coconut. We spent a small amount of time exploring and taking it all in, and I'll share some of that with you now. The views out here over Lelapa Island are just amazing. The reef also goes for kilometers either way out from here. Definitely one of the hidden gems of Port Vila. We've been chatting with the owners here and they've been telling us that they've got some resident turtles here every afternoon pretty much that they see dolphins and recently they've even had whales coming through the passage. If you want to stay there's a few bungalows available but you'll definitely need to book ahead for that one. Our time was done and we needed to head back to Port Vila so we jumped back in the car and headed on our way. If you're having fun watching the video leave a comment give us a like if you like what we're doing subscribe to the channel there's going to be more of this. If you're looking for more things to do around Port Vila uh, and Afate Island you could watch this video up here uh, or this one down here. Uh, we've had a lot of fun around here right different styles of holidays so check them out.